Hi, in this tutorial we are going to use the AnimeGAN version 2 Python library. We are going to manipulate images and we are going to cha change the images like in animated images in two formats. Uh, this, these are samples of the result of this AnimeGAN version 2 library and you can see the fantastic uh, results. We have another example, it's not only faces, you can see that the image is being uh, animated. This is uh, one manipulation and this is another ma manipulation. Okay, so now we are going to learn how, how to do it. First, uh, we're going to, to clone the library. Next, we are going to create a new environment using the, the conda command. Please notice that is a Python 3.9. We will uh, activate the new environment. Then the next phase, we have to see what is the version of our CUDA. Mine is 11.4. Of course, it's uh, relevant only if you have a GPU card, but this, is, this uh, library can run on a CPU. So I am copy the, the installation command and run it. I will leave a, a link to instruction file in the description of uh, the video. We are going to install OpenCV library. The next phase is uh, choosing uh, test images. Uh, I'm going to use these uh, three images. So I will copy these images to our uh, working uh, environment and copy it to a folder called images. I'm also going to copy several face images. Please notice they are all copied to a, a folder called images. Now the, the major Python file called test.py and uh, please notice there is a folder named weights that have already several weights files that we are going to, to use it uh, in the demo as well. So now let's run the command, it's a Python and test and then the input dir, this is our images dir. Uh, you can use CPU or GPU. I'm using CPU only for the sample. And the out dir, I name it uh, results. So now let's see the, the result of uh, running this uh, script. Uh, please notice that is using uh, as default the paprika.pt weight. This is the default file. Of course, we will change it uh, later to see uh, another type of uh, transformation uh, to the images. This step uh, took about uh, half an hour. I did a fast forward. So now let's uh, see the result. The result is on the result folder. Okay, this is uh, one image, this is uh, another image. Let's go now to the original images to, to compare one next to each other. You can see the, the result. This is the, the dog image. Uh, we are going to do the same uh, the same process for uh, another uh, weight. Please notice that the weight folder has several weight files. Uh, I will uh, use in this demo the Celeba Distill weight to show you a, a different uh, result. Uh, let's copy our uh, previous command and only add a checkpoint argument and we will write the, the second uh, weight file 
and run the process once again. We will copy it, the, the result will be on the result 2 folder, and just not to, to overwrite our uh, previous uh, process. Once again, I'm doing a fast forward. It took about a half an hour, and uh, we will see the result. Okay, let's open the result 2 folder. And this is the two original images. And now we'll go to result 2. You can see a different uh, animated um, image. You can see the, the second image. We will compare it uh, one next to each other. A very nice result. Thank you for watching.